Dash here and in this video I'm going to show you how to maintain multiple custom ROMs on your Galaxy Note. So with this method you can maintain uh, over 5 custom ROMs on your internal external cards uh, on the Galaxy Note and you can uh, what do you say dual boot between two of them and uh, you can go into recovery and select a different ROM and boot into it as well. So let me show you how this is uh, going to be done. The first thing you need to do is get the ROM installation uh, files onto the micro SD or your internal memory uh, and you should you need to hit link one from the description and uh, download the file from there the dual boot file alright so once you've done that what you need to do is I mean okay just to show you guys I'm currently running Chris Kalo 11.2 uh, which is Chris, Chris Kalo 11 alright so what we do is uh, up volume power and home at the same time the first thing we are going to do guys is we are going to transfer this ROM from the phone memory into the internal mem internal SD or the micro SD right, letting the keys go once Galaxy Note is displayed alright so right now what we do is scroll down to install zip from SD card Choose it from internal and select dual boot aroma and install it. So now the aroma installer would lo load up. <coughs> Hitting next. Alright, guys, the first thing we do over here is, like I said, transfer the ROM from the device memory onto the internal SD or the external SD alright so going into tools so we're gonna as you can see there are five slots over here two on the internal SD and three on the external SD and you'd need about three gigs of memory uh, for each installation of a ROM so I'm first uh, first I'm gonna transfer this to ROM 1 internal so over here guys, uh, just copy the system to the SD card. Copying data and cache is not recommended. Wipe data and cache. Alright, now uh, hit next. Hit install now. So now just, we just need to wait for this process to complete, for the ROM to be copied over. Now that's done. Uh, don't reboot hit finish So now guys you can go ahead and flash what ROM you want uh, The ROM that was on your system is now onto the internal ST so going back I Just follow the tutorial for any ROM installation now. I'm gonna flash King Droid 4.4 Alright, we're up guys, uh, just getting through setup quickly. Settings, about phone. And there you have it, King Droid Note Mania. So uh, what we do now again, guys, is go back into recovery, volume up, uh, home and power. But King Droid has an option of putting into recovery, so you, I'm gonna use it. Okay, now that we are we are in recovery, so what we need to do here is again install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and now select the file you downloaded from link one again that you will boot. And now Aroma will load up.
Okay, now what we do is we flash dual boot kernel. Speed mod. Next. Install. Okay, done. Next. And uh, reboot system now. So by default, uh, once you once we flash the what do you say uh, the dual boot kernel, we boot into the ROM that is on the internal SD. So this is Chris Kalo that we've booted into Chris Kalo v11. So and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly reboot the phone. and wait for the lights over here to turn off guys now just keep pressing the home key don't press and hold it just keep pressing it uh, till you see the boot animation start Speed up, <coughs> and I'm going into settings. Uh, that's King Droid Note Mania. So, guys, uh, this is how it works. You just you, if right now, okay. All right, guys. So now, what we do again is reboot back into recovery. So guys, uh, go to install zip from SD card and select the, I mean, choose zip from SD card and select the dual boot aroma file. So guys, till now we've seen how to install a ROM onto your phone and then transfer it to your SD card and then go ahead and choose between both ROMs, right? So now, uh, now we have one ROM on the SD card, all right? And we have one ROM in the device memory. So now what we can do is we can go into tools and transfer the ROM from the device memory onto the second on onto inter, uh, ROM 2 internal or ROM 1 external and so on alright you can keep flashing ROMs and keep transferring them onto these different slots that you have it's 3 gigs per slot if you install ROMs onto every slot you will end up with 5 slots on your internal and external SDs and 1 ROM on your uh, device memory so uh, what you do after that is go back boot into recovery and select the same dual boot aroma and now set default booting ROM so over here uh, the one ROM on the device memory and the, and the ROM to dual boot you can select one of these five alright so uh, going back you can select one of these five so say for example we have uh, Chris Kalo on, an, on a ROM on internal you select ROM on internal you can select either the, either the SD card ROM to as default to dual boot which means Chris Kalo will be the default ROM to dual boot or the one on the phone memory and uh, you can share the data between both ROMs but I recommend you not to so this is how you can go ahead and flash different ROMs onto your phone and keep switching them onto the internal and external SD cards and guys if you're gonna go ahead and flash a ROM that is not of the same base that is if it's not a touchless ROM and if you're gonna flash a CM9 ROM 
then each time you wanna boot into CM9 you need to flash the kernel or if you have CM9 as the default boot ROM you will boot in but to dual boot you need to come back into this file and you need to change the kernel each time and guys to remove the dual boot functionality and get back to a single ROM get into this file uh, get in here select set default booting ROM scroll down remove the dual boot called config file no install now now it will remove the config file so now hit next and reboot and this time you will boot, on the, boot into the ROM in your device memory so guys just to show you uh, just go on how to delete this go into your internal or external wherever you have whichever slot you've used to you know install the ROMs uh, I'm just gonna go into internal scroll down and you will find something that says SD ROMs SD ROMs oh yeah we use two slots so slot 1 and slot 2 that I've used so all you need to do is right click delete and the ROMs are gone so you're back to a single boot uh, back to single boot so that's pretty much it guys for uh, dual booting ROMs onto your Galaxy Note uh, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly all my contact details are in the description and uh, before you go guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note, the S3, the One X and the Nexus 7 uh, so that's pretty much it guys and if you guys do want to help me out use my links to Amazon in the description uh, you don't have to place an order for any smartphone related stuff necessarily uh, if there's anything you want to purchase online go through my links use the search bar find what you want place an order and every time you place an order i tend to make a few cents to a few bucks so hope you guys can help me out so that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching and uh, i'll see you guys soon bye bye now